a warning, this video is going to be like super rambly, super not structured, super like pathetic, but I'm in a really hyper mood right now because I've been studying for exams for the past like three weeks and I just, I'm not in the mood to do my research and actually tell you what these books are about. So I'm going to do my very best and tell you my interpretation of what these books are about. You're welcome. But get ready for a very interesting video. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with a little book haul. I went to the thrift store and I got 10 books for a total of $11.25. That's like $1.15 for each book, so <laughs> pat on the back, pat on the back. Jay likes thrift stores. Bless up to the thrift store gods. I kind of lied to the cashier, which I mean like shame on you for lying, Jan, but uh, got a better deal. But I told her every single book is a young adult book because they're only like a dollar something. So I was like, yeah, they're totally all a dollar, what? <laughs> and she was like, okay, and I was like, God, you're an idiot. But hey cheaper books, so I'm sorry, cashier, if you're watching this, but I'm not sorry. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the books I'm actually so excited about, like, they're all ones that I've actually wanted to read for a while, and, like, they're actually pretty popular books. Books, which is surprising for a thrift store, so somebody, apparently named Katie, because it's in the book that says to Katie, all of them have, like, little inscriptions. Thank you, Katie, for getting rid of your popular books. I appreciate you. You're the best. First book that I picked up is Tricks by Ellen Hopkins. You know your girl, love her, some Ellen Hopkins. So when I see Ellen Hopkins books, I grab them immediately because I just need them all. The second book is also an Ellen Hopkins books, and it is Impulse. All I know about this one is that it is following three teenagers who all tried to commit suicide, and now they're in a psychiatric hospital. Sounds like it could be cool. Ellen Hopkins always writes the coolest books, in my opinion, to do with psychological stuff. So, very excited to pick this one up as well. The third book I picked up was Room by Emma Donahue. I've actually read this before. I've read it, like, in 2014, when it was, like, nobody knew what this book was. I read it before the movie came out. And I absolutely loved it. And I tried to get so many people to read it and they're like, no, it sounds stupid. And I was like, hmm, hmm, just you wait. It's going to be big. I can already tell. And then they made a movie and I was like, who's right? <laughs> Jay, once again, people should start listening to me. That's all I'm saying. This book follows a woman who was kidnapped when she was younger and she has a son and the son has only lived in this room. It's basically their story about living in this room and then they try to escape and what goes on with that. I'm sure all of you have read the book or seen the movie. It's a great book. It's a great movie. So I would highly suggest reading it slash watching the movie. The little boy in the movie is adorable. So good, good movie to watch. The next book is Mr. Penumbrum's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. And this was popular, I think, like a year or two years ago. I think like 2015 it was popular. I saw it and a lot of people liked this book and it was there for a dollar. So I was like, mm, your girl needs this. Ha <laughs> ha. So your girl snatched it. And I'm actually really excited. And it has deckled edges, which... I like. I like me some decorated edges, so <laughs> excited. Next book is The School of Good and Evil by Simone Chinani. Chinani. I don't know how to say it, sorry. Not sorry. I saw this book, I think, in 2015 on Reagan's channel, and she seemed to enjoy it, so I want to enjoy it as well. Will I enjoy it? Who really knows? So all I know is that there's two schools, one's good, one's evil, and this girl, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to go to the evil school, but she gets assigned to the good school. And then this girl's supposed to go to the good school, but she gets assigned to the evil school. And that's all I think I know about this book, but apparently it's good. So, and it's in really good condition. Like, all of these books are in such good condition, and I'm like, you did a steal this time, Jan. You did a steal. And I'm proud of myself for all these steals. The next book is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I don't need to go into what this book is about because it was super popular a little while ago. But I haven't read it yet and I saw it on the shelf so I was like, fine. So now I have it and I'm going to read it. And apparently it's really sad. So we're going to see if a book can actually make me cry. Because so far, I have not found a book that can actually make me sob. So it's going to happen maybe with this one. We'll see. Next is The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I don't know a lot about this book but I know that it now has like a rainbowy cover and it's like super pretty and a lot of people like it. And I saw it in this cover, which I don't like that much. But I've heard that it's a good story. So I was like, hmm, you know, I get a free book so might as well be this book because I've heard good things about it so why not you know you know next book I'm actually so happy that I found because if you watched my last haul I was stupid and bought the third fourth and fifth books in a series and I only owned the first one so I had one three four five but I didn't have two so your girl found book number two the golden lily I didn't know what it was called but it's called the golden lily by Rochelle Mead and this is the second book in the bloodline series which is a spin-off of vampire academy which I still have not read but Minor details. I have the second book so I can actually marathon the whole series and not have to find the second book because now it's in my possession. Next two books are actually 
non-popular books, which I'd never heard of before, but they looked cool. So I was like, nine, so I took them. The first one is Hush by Kate White, and this one actually sounds so cool. It's about a woman, I forget her name, her name is Lake Warren. That's like slammed. I don't understand why people call their children Lake. That's not cute. I'm sorry, I don't think that's cute. But this book follows Lake Warren, who is in a custody battle for her two children, and she's working in a hospital with a very attractive doctor, and her and the doctor end up having a little fun one night stand. And then she wakes up the next morning and he's dead in her bed with her throat. Yeah, gone. His throat is gone. So now the police are like, yo, did you murder this man? Like, what, what you doing? And she's like, no, like, I didn't murder this man. Like, what is this? So now she's trying to investigate into this man's murder because, like, he's in her bed. Like, and, like, what, what happened? That was a really bad description, but it sounds really good. And she doesn't want to jeopardize the custody battle. So she, like, lies to the police. It, it makes more sense if you actually read, you know, this thing. This thing that tells you what the book's about. But that was my, uh, very bad summary of it. So if you're interested in it, go look it up on Goodreads because <laughs> I'm not good at this kind of thing because I'm a terrible booktuber. But I think it sounds cool, so I'm gonna read it. And the final book in my little haul today is Linked by Imogene Hossin. And this book follows a woman who's been having hallucinations and she doesn't know why. And then she realizes the day of her big surgery to get rid of these hallucinations that she's actually seeing things from another girl's eyes. So like, what? There's a movie with Angelina Jolie that is like this book. So that's why I picked it up because I liked that movie. I forget what it's called, but basically she's like blind and then she gets an eye transplant and then she can see things through this person's eyes, but it's like a horror film and you know your girl likes her horror. So <laughs> watch that, loved it. Wanna read this book because I think it's similar to it, but. I don't know if it will actually be good, but we'll see if I like it. And then I'll let you guys know if I like it and if you should read it too. All right guys, so those were my terrible descriptions of my haul and bookish things that I bought. And I'm sorry, but. If you're interested in the actual, you know, descriptions and summaries of these books, look them up on Goodreads because they all sound really cool. So I'm going to read them and I'm going to enjoy them. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.